Hey Skellies, this is a tutorial on how to recolor an item, um, pretty much in Create a Sim with The Sims 4 Studio. And you just want to go to Add Create a Sim Part Swatch. I like to use the filters to find what I want quickly, unless you really just want to scroll. <laughs> I'm going to go with this city living top, typically a white color or a lighter color is easier to recolor. You click next and then you name the package that will be going in your mods folder eventually once you're all done with it. Then you want to do this export for the texture and then name the picture that you will be opening in GIMP to edit. Save that. And then I just right click open with GIMP. So you want to duplicate the first original layer so that the original is underneath the layer that you actually go to colorize. And then you can choose whatever color you want to tint, basically, the uh, picture. I'm just gonna go with a green. Okay, and okay. And then you can use the eraser to actually erase Part of this layer so that the underlying layer shows through and there are different ways you can erase stuff like with the um, lasso tool you can see here draw my circle connect that click the move tool and tap delete on your keyboard once you delete it click select select none and you can also use the ellipses tool to draw a circle because obviously these bead things are circles and then um, it's already selected so you don't have to click the move tool tap the delete key on your keyboard and select none and so on and just using different techniques to delete basically And you can also add an extra layer in between the original and this, like, in my case, green layer. I'm also going to delete the uh, green over these ribbons. And this is with the lasso tool. You can actually draw straight lines and adjust the different connections. Move tool and then delete on your keyboard. Select none. So like I was saying, a third layer in between, we can do that. Um, I'm actually going to do this one over this one because I'm gonna try to do some kind of like ombre effect with what I have going on. Um, you can do limitless things. You can have 100 layers of different colors if you really want to, but that kind of gets complicated, so. I'm going to turn the opacity down on my eraser so that it kind of like fades into the original green that was there. You see that? And here we go. Sorry, I fast forwarded it so it <laughs> looks nice. Okay, and then you want to overwrite the picture that you just edited. It's a PNG. And then you import it to put in a new texture open it and now it's on the mannequin you can spin her around with your mouse different buttons on your mouse do different things so just you know, mess around with that and then you want to adjust the um, the colors that are represented for this top in this case and then you want to also go to the categories tab and adjust the colors to also match here And you want to click save your package has been saved that is the package that goes into your mods folder so you want to cut or copy it into your mods folder if you haven't done that already you can cancel and exit out of sims 4 studio you go into the mods folder right click paste and now once you open your game it should be in there so i'm going to put it on this lovely lady here is the top that I just made, or I just recolored, I should say. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more and click the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.